and we can start to build the basic necessity no way <laughs> okay <laughs> it was really random today i would like to deal with mining and i will build the big mining complex because it's just about time to do something about mining and i would also like to make an elevator which will go down all the way to bedrock level just a side note i found this lucky rock while i was mining and it says plus 16 percent efficiency bonus and it gives 3.48% chance for extra loot when mining. I don't know what this thing is good for, but we will see. So without further ado, let's build our mining complex. Okay, so the mining complex is done and I think it looks really nice and it's so big. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Here is a main tower and here are the two sides of the mine. I love these cranes and these overhanging pipe things. They look really good and I've also added some decorations like these flowers in the flower beds. Here is an empty room. It is not occupied yet. And I will put the elevator right here. And I will store all my stones and stone related stuff here. I've also made the other side. That's a bit boring. I, I haven't put anything there just yet. And I've also made a way down to the caves. So here is a rope. You can use it. You can climb down. You can climb up. And I think in general it looks really nice. But for sure I will add some texture to the stones. Because it looks really boring at the moment. But don't worry. I will do that. And now we can deal with the elevator. I think something is blocking the door. Excuse me. I was not familiar with the zoo coming to this town. What is happening here? Can I help you good sir? That's what I thought. Okay, so I will collect the decorational blocks that I will use to my elevator. And I will also do the redstone contact and the elevator pulley because these are the two things that we will need to make our first elevator. So the thing is that you will need three of these redstone contacts because these redstone contacts determine where your elevator will stop. So you will have to have one of these redstone contacts on your elevator and two on the two levels where your elevator will stop. So it's just basically iron sheet, cobblestone and redstone. There we go. And an elevator pulley. Like that. And we will need a contraption controls. Okay, at first I will just drop down and put down the first redstone contact. Okay, I think I will put it here. And the other will come here. Okay, now I will build the elevator itself. And I will put this redstone contact here. Yep, just like that, it's done. I will glue this whole thing together. Like so. Okay, here are two water wheels. Get them working, just like that. And I will put down the elevator pulley. All right, I will add the contraption control. And if all works well, and I right click on this elevator pulley, it will get to work. Okay, so the elevator pulley just attached to this elevator. And as you can see, these redstone blocks have changed. They are now stationary contraptions and I am at level one. So basically I can name this thing anything I want to. And so if I come over here and I just scroll, I can scroll down to zero, which means that it will go down to the zero level, which is at bedrock level. So let's try this out. A few moments later. Okay, it's going really slow, so I will speed it up in between episodes, but as you can see, it works. So I was thinking about maybe we can find out what that rock does that we have just put in here, this lucky rock. Start mining somewhere and see if it drops anything. I will turn off my magnet. Oh, it dropped the raw iron. That's really a lucky rock. Okay, it dropped lapis. That's, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Let's try this again. It didn't drop anything, but it's so cool. Oh, I can mine the coal. It just once again. 
Yeah, you drop redstone. Okay, so it's dropping high tier loot as well. So that's a good thing. Oh, it actually dropped a lot of lapis and a lot of redstones. All right, so a day passed since I made the elevator and I finished the mine in the meantime. So it's looking like this. I tried to add details to the mine, tried to make the walls to have more variety and to add some nature as well. The elevator is working just well. I managed to make it move faster. So if I just click on zero, then as you can see, the door is closing and we are good to go to the bottom layer of the world. All right, but the second part of this video will be that we'll produce the basic necessities like sand, gravel, cobblestone, stone. Maybe I will left out cobblestone because we have a lot and it's, it's pretty easy to gain. But yeah, so here are my storage drawers. I am planning to put all these resources into here. I am thinking about adding the ores as well. But maybe I will have to extend it to that way a little more. Oh, and I've also made a bow which has power for withering, infinity and mending. This was really needed because I broke my first sword and I just like bows a bit more. Alright, so I'm gonna go grab my backpack which contains all the create stuff. And we can start to build the basic necessity- No way! <laughs> Okay, <laughs> it was really random. So I will start to build the basic necessity stone slash sand slash gravel farm. If I am correct, I left it in my storage house. So let's just check it. And look at this vibe. I, I really love this vibe that goes around here between these buildings. Like it's good to have these particles with the blossoms. Okay, here we are. Yes, we have it. I think I'm going to make more anthracite alloys. Alright, so I will need brass funnels, that's for sure. I will need two campfires. One is to smell the cobblestone and the other is to smell the sand. Okay, I will have to do this brass tunnel. It requires a lot of brass and an electron tube, so I think we can do it. Okay, I've mined some raw zinc and raw copper. Okay, and now I can make brass. And there we go. Okay, I will do at least three of these rose quartzes, maybe five. We will need them in the future as well. All right, let's polish them. Let's make the iron sheets for the tubes. Oh yeah, I forgot to turn off my magnets. Thank you. And now we can make the tubes. So I will need at least two for now, but for sure we can craft more if we will need them. Oh, okay. In the meantime, I just figured it out that campfire will not be enough to smelt glass and stone. So I will have to have lava. I grabbed two buckets and I think our lava generator is just filled up. Let's see. Yep, it is. Okay, I can go back and now we can probably start the process itself. Let's grab the backpack and go to the mines. Okay, it looks like everything is done. So first things first, I would like to make water wheels as our power sources. I'm doing three just to start off. All right, so I am just applying the water. And so we don't have the cobblestone generator just yet, but we have to pre-plan the position of the cobblestone generator. So at first, I would like to split the cobblestone into three parts. So I'm gonna do it like this and then like this this and i will put this brass tunnel on the top of this so it can split into three parts okay so let's do the gravel first it's pretty straightforward we just have to have a millstone like this okay i am putting this down here i want all these things to be fitted to this drawer controller so i will have to have them in the this way so i will go back just one so we can have another belt here which will go this way so we are done with the gravel section and i had some changes in my plans because i just figured it out that i will need gravel to make sand so i will just split the gravel to make gravel and sand too so i will split it right around here and then i will make it to go all the way here so the thing is that I will have the cobblestone coming out from here. I will also mark it and I will smelt it right here. So it will be fitted to an inventory, which will then drop it out to this belt. 
and the same thing will happen with the gravel so it will come here it will be split it and the gravel will come this way and the sand will go this way okay so i will put a brass funnel here because i want to filter it to be smelted stone and i will just drop this andesite chute here because it's whatever i want everything to come out of this chest from here okay so now i will have to make those big grindstones again because we will need that to make sand and we will have some excess items like clay and flint but we can filter them out so now i will make those huge grindstone wheels and i have it so i have to do two gear shifts now like this but i'm going to make them vertical and now I just put a shaft here and put down the gear shift so the crushing wheels can be operated vertically. Okay, I'm putting down the chests for the excess items and I'm putting brass funnels on them so we can filter out what should go in the chests. So one will be flint and the other will be clay. And I want to split this belt again and I want the glass smelting part right here. Okay, I am going to remove these bad parts and I'm going to put here another chest. I will put an anti funnel on this side of the chest because everything can go in here. Now I'm making the main belt which will go to this whole storage system and we can put an andesite funnel on this side of this drawer controller. Alright so now let's set up the smelting areas. Alright I will put a fan right here and I will put a fan right here. I can place the lavas. So we have to connect this whole contraption to move in the perfect direction. So that's what I'm going to do now. Okay, so I will connect these belts to the water wheels with chain drives at first. Okay, it's working just pretty well. Okay, I just put the gearbox there and it's working properly now. Another gearbox here, a chain drive coming from here to here, another gearbox here. Two other chain drives, another gearbox. I'm gonna close it down just not to smell anything else but the glass. Chain drive to connect these and maybe the last gearbox. And there we go. Everything looks just fine. Everything works pretty well. I am relieved now a little bit because it was really hard to get going. So everything is going in the right direction. The last thing that we have to do is just, is just make the actual cobblestone generator. Okay, so I'm gonna put down a chute here and then the cobblestone generator. I know it's a lazy cobblestone generator, but I will do a bigger one and I will have the industrial town. Okay, so it looks like it's started to make some process. All right, just the last touch to get the millstone going. Okay, and as I can see, the gravels and the stones are just coming right off and they are working pretty well. Oh my god, I'm so happy. I've just done this amazing contraption. It's a bit of a mess, but I think it is a really good start. Create is just endless fun, so let's just take it as one. Okay, and our first items have just entered the system and they are in the storage drawer system, so it looks like it might have worked. Oh yep, I forgot to put a funnel here. I think we will have to speed it up in the future, but now it's more than enough. It's really good. So as you can see in this chest, there are the stones, gravels and the glasses. So everything is working as it should be. And the sand is coming this way. It was probably the hardest thing that I've done on this map so far, but it was a really big fun. And now I have to find a way to cover this whole thing up because it's not looking good. I will try to make it look just a bit better. Okay, I think it might be good enough. You can still see these things right here, but I mean, it's not that bad. So you cannot see the whole mess behind it all. Okay, I'm gonna switch this funnel up to a breast funnel because that can deploy stacks. Oh yeah, it's, it's way better. No, not there. And I am done with the basic necessities factory. I don't know why I called it like this, but these are basically just gravel, stone, sand and glasses. So thank you all so much for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe because this series is going to be really epic and I would like to collect ideas. So have a nice day and see you in the next video. Goodbye.